Hi, it's The Wire. Keeping it free, .blogspot.com, a free site. Wealthspinning.blogspot.com, a free site. Today is June the 5th, 2024. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. I want everyone here to rely on their own financial advisors. I'm just sharing what I'm thinking about, sometimes what I'm pursuing. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Apple Computer, or Apple, is about to have a big event where no doubt they're going to talk about the integration of artificial intelligence into their smartphones and other products. You can imagine they're going to be a list of pundits, investment gurus, who are going to point out that this is a breakthrough moment, that this hints at uh, customers needing to upgrade their Apple phones, their computers, their tablets, so that they can have artificial intelligence capability, right? You might even hear that the upgrades are going to boost the economy, right? This is an election year. We still are hearing about rate cuts, right? You and I know the way the game's really played. The Fed, the Treasury, they understand that if they can give the economy a sugar high right around the election, then the people in power will appreciate their work. Consider this video to be a voice of caution. Right? What I want to ask is simply, with what money? Are the consumers going to run out and upgrade their computer systems, their telephony, right? Where's the money coming from, folks? Understand, you have record high credit card debt. Consumers have caught on to the fact that things that used to be cheap, think fast food, are now becoming increasingly close to luxury items. Right? When I was in college, I was trying to start a business and, uh, you know, there were often times where I had a lot of lint in my pocket and with $5, I knew I could buy dinner at a fast food place. Right? A good dinner. Multiple burgers. Let me tell you, too, I had a friend who is living in the Philippines, and he visited the United States, and he was very happy that on a very low budget, he could go to McDonald's and get two cheeseburgers with fries, right? Very low budget. Those days are now behind us. You know, if you're a uh, DoorDash person, you know that ordering just the minimum stuff from a McDonald's, once you add in, you know, the fees and such, and keep in mind, I'm a Dash Pass member, right? I'm talking from personal experience. You're going to find out that, of course, the bill's going to come to a little bit more than $20, right? Let me tell you, I used to go to Domino's, and I would get a large one topping pizza for $7.99. Those days are over. Right now, if you're going to Domino's, folks, you're paying over 10 bucks for that pizza. If you get it delivered, you're paying even more. I know Domino's has a nice little promotion going where you tip them, they tip you. Okay, fine, right? But understand, you're paying more than that. If you remember the price levels from just a few years ago, right before COVID, the prices now are a lot higher. 
So consider this video to be a cry for caution, right? The Schiller P.E. ratio, the mean, in other words, the historical average is around 17, right? That's the historical average. As of yesterday, it was up at 34.91. Folks, stocks are expensive right now. You know, I was on here months ago talking about the inverted yield curve. Right, folks? It's still inverted. Understand, the one-month yield is over 5.3%. The one-year yield is over 5.1%. The 30-year yield is at 4.4%. Folks, it shouldn't be that way. It simply shouldn't. So what's happening now in the economy is there's always a cover story, isn't there? Right? We're hearing Red Lobster, a restaurant, Right? And understand, there's a lot of carnage in the restaurant business. We're hearing that Red Lobster has had to file for bankruptcy. Okay, rather than just say, hey, times are hard on restaurants like us. Instead, we're getting a story about how bottomless shrimp has sunk the restaurant. As if the restaurant made one mistake, and that mistake just has resulted in their need to close at least 40 restaurants as of this video the number might get above 150 right so as you hear pitches for upgrades as if my uh, phone isn't expensive enough as if I just happen to have several hundred dollars lying around in this economy with these interest rates. I just have several hundred dollars lying around where I'm going to say, hey, you know what? AI, which I did not need three years ago, is now such an indispensable part of my life that I'm going to upgrade the phone that was fine for me before all this AI so I can what? You know, draw AI pictures on my phone? I can what? Have my phone write basic essays for me? Understand, AI, rightfully, in my opinion, has skeptics out there. People like Jesse Felder, look him up, who talk about the inaccuracy of some of these AI search results. I'm a fan of AI. I use AI. In my videos, often the background is AI generated. Right? I went through a stretch where I had problems syncing the audio in my videos because my computer didn't have the power to process the background and my audio at the same time. Don't get me wrong. I understand the power of having a sufficiently powered computer system. Do you need that on your phone now? The question is, at what price? Folks, if the price is high, and if you're having problems affording food at places like McDonald's and Domino's, right? and if you also sense that the tech sector is inherently deflationary, right? some of the phones that you're getting now at outfits like Mint Mobile were premium phones not that long ago. Now they're discount phones, right? Let's just say I question the narrative that people have enough money to buy the latest group of products featuring AI features from these phone suppliers, right? Let me just say too, I don't know about you, but my chat GPT 
my Google Gemini uh, seem to work just fine on the computer I have, right? Isn't that why we have digital data centers, right? Think about streaming video, right? You can have a, you know, Roku, and the stream comes in perfectly because it's being streamed and the computing power is being done elsewhere. Right, so I'm a little bit baffled as to how, you know, making the phone more powerful is needed at this time when unemployment is creeping up and there are signs of fractures in the economy. Right, ask yourself, and I know oil has been down, there were some statements from OPEC that the market did not view favorably. Um, how long do you think energy will continue to be reasonably priced at a time when our strategic petroleum reserve has already been depleted and you already know that AI is energy intensive, that EVs are energy intensive, that crypto, which seems to be taking off, is energy intensive. Let me make another point too. Let's talk crypto just for a second, right? Um, people are making a lot of money right now given that Bitcoin is over $70,000 a coin, right? Okay, fine. If Michael Novogratz is right, and if Bitcoin is on a path to end the year at $100,000 a coin, with, of course, other parts of the cryptoverse also rising in tandem, right? Let me ask you, what do you think is going to happen in this economy? I get the feeling that as crypto holders get wealthier, they're going to hold on to the money, right? They might use some of the money to actually take care of some of the balance on their credit cards, right? I don't believe that they're going to run out and spend that money on new smartphones, on bigger TVs, right? I get the feeling that the country is so indebted that the people who have a good thing are going to keep that good thing going. In other words, if my $70,000 coin gets to 100, why would I want to spend any of it? Don't I want to ride the wave? Isn't this the way I'm going to pay for my retirement? Right? If I've run up debt for emergencies, let's say I've been unemployed, let's say I had a health problem, my wife had a health problem, um, you know, we have to somehow find a way to pay for that college education for our children. You know what? I believe that's where I'm going to, if I spend crypto, that's where I would spend the crypto. I'm not sure if I buy this upgrade cycle. I just don't see people with the money to upgrade phones that were fine for them right before ChatGPT took off, which is recent. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Folks, just understand, the stock market is overvalued right now. You could look at the Buffett indicator you could look at the Schiller P.E. ratio, right? The stock market's overvalued right now. High interest rates are starting to hurt the housing market, right? All this talk about lower rates, are you sure you want even more inflation? Given that prices at fast food restaurants are as high as they are, given that food prices 
in supermarkets are as high as they are? Right? Isn't the talk of cutting rates really a acknowledgement that unemployment is creeping up? That the possibility of a recession has gotten higher? Right? The last I checked, you still had a war going on in Gaza. You still had a war going on in the Ukraine. You had a snap election called for in the United Kingdom. You have a situation in the United States where the challenger just got convicted of a felony and he's actually leading in the polls over the incumbent. Right, folks, and uncertain times like this I'm not buying the narrative that everyone's gonna run out to buy the latest model car right by the way the average age of a car in the United States I was reading is something like 12 years old I don't think people are gonna buy the latest model car you're hearing stories about the EV market in the United States being under pressure hybrids taking over the market from straight EVs, right? People now understand that there isn't the infrastructure right now for EVs, or at least that infrastructure is not comparable to the infrastructure for internal combustion engine cars, right? In uncertain times like this, where we're going to have to spend a lot of money, a lot of money, upgrading the electrical grid. The times are so uncertain, just look at the price of an ounce of gold. You know when there's financial insecurity and uncertainty, that's when gold and silver spike. Aren't they spiking now? If the customer is concerned about their financial safety, they're not going to pay a premium for the latest model smartphone. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.